Hello, Year 3. This is Mr. Harris. Um, I am working with Miss Davis and Miss Fernandez, so do not worry, you are in the right place. We are going to do a vocabulary lesson today, and the date is the 1st of February, 2021. And our learning objective for today is to understand some focus words in a text. So we're going to go through a text and choose some focus words to try and understand the meaning of and see them used in different ways. So the text today is about dragons. Now we have the word dragon, and I would just like you to think for a second about what comes to mind when you hear the word dragon. What do you think about? Maybe you can have a little talk with somebody who you're with. What do you think about with this word dragon? So maybe you thought about something like this, the dragon, uh, from the, um, what's the film called? How to Train Your Dragon film. Or maybe this guy, he's a dragon, he can fly. Or maybe even this, this big guy here. Um, so these are all different kinds of dragons that we've seen in uh, fiction, fiction books. So made up imaginary dragons. But the question for today that I have is this. Are dragons real? What do you think? Are dragons real? Can they ever be real? Well, we have our text today, which actually is all about real dragons. So they're not the kind of dragons that we usually think of in stories, but they uh, are called dragons, and we can see them in nature. <clears throat> so the text is called Real Live Dragons, and it's by Kate Ruttel. So we are going to read the text, and we're going to choose, like we said in our uh, learning objective, some focus words. So the focus words are going to be from this text. <clears throat> so let's begin with the text. I'm going to read it together with you. So, did you know that many different kinds of creatures are called dragons? They may not be as exciting as some of the dragons you read about in stories, but they are real, live dragons. Komodo dragon. Komodo, Komodo dragons are the world's biggest lizards. They can't breathe fire, but they do inject venom into their prey. The venom speeds up blood loss. Even if a pig, deer, or buffalo escapes the Komodo's, Komodo's attack, it quickly weakens and dies so the dragon can eat it in its own good time. So there is our Komodo dragon, and we are going to choose one focus word from the text, and that word will be venom. Actually, we're going to choose another word as well, so two focus words from this text, and the second word is going to be prey. So these are our two focus words so far in the text, venom and prey. Okay, so let's turn the page in our text, and let's look at another dragon. Dragon snake. The dragon snake is called dragon because it has three ridges of knobbly scales that run down its body. They mostly bask in the sun during the hottest parts of the day and hunt for frogs at night. We're going to grab one word from here, and that word is bask, and put it in our focus words box. The sentence there says, they mostly bask in the sun during the hottest parts of the day and hunt for frogs at night. So let's put it in our focus words box and we can learn about it a little bit later on. Dragon millipede. This bright pink mini beast is found throughout Asia. It has spikes around the top of its legs for protection. Its bright colors worn Excuse me, its bright color warns predators that the millipede is dangerous and it can spray a strong venom when it is under attack. So there we see that word venom again, but we already have that in a focus words box. So let's grab this word protection and put it in our focus words box. And another word predators. So now we have five focus words that we can think about. Flying dragon. Flying dragons have special flaps of skin over their ribs, so they can glide from tree to tree. Some can glide as far as 60 meters. They live in rainforests. 
bearded dragon. This lizard has a fringed ruff around its throat that it can puff out to make a ring of spiked scales around its neck. This beard turns black when the dragon is angry. Some bearded dragons can change color when they bask in the sun. So there's that word bask again, when they bask in the sun. And here we are. These are the focus words we selected. So we chose venom, prey, bask, protection, and predators. The first word in our focus words box was venom. So we're going to learn a little bit about venom. What can you see in this picture? That's right, we have a snake, and this snake is actually squirting its venom out of its mouth. Now, not all animals that have venom can do this. Some of them sting with a tail, or some of them have venom glands in their gums, and they include a little bit of venom with their bite. And the venom will make, usually it will make an animal quite sick, so they're going to be very easy for the snake or venomous creature to then eat. We have five animals here, and they all have venom. Now, let's have a look at the first one. What do we think that is? That's from the previous slide. That's right, that could be a snake, couldn't it? Snakes can have venom. What about this insect down here? Now, could that, could that insect be a fly? Why couldn't it be a fly? That's right, because flies do not have venom, so maybe it is a bee. There she is, our friend the bee. Um, what about this insect here? It's quite big, isn't it? A little bit bigger than the bee, even. Could be a wasp, but it is quite big, so we're going to say it is a hornet. Hornets are very similar to wasps, but they're just a little bit bigger, a little bit more scary. Down here we have a little spider. What kind of spider could that be? Does anyone know any spiders that have venom? Well, this one is a black widow spider, and they have very strong venom, but luckily they do not live in the UK. We don't have to worry about them. And what about over here? What animal could this be? That's right, that one is a scorpion. So here they are. Here are five animals, and they all have venom. The next word, or two of the words in our focus words box, were predator and prey. Now, predator and prey is... A relationship in nature, part of the food chain that you can learn about in science. Um, it's when one animal eats the other animal. Now the animal that eats is the predator and the one that is being eaten is the prey. So looking at this picture, what do you think? Who is the predator and who is the prey? If you said the bear is the predator, you are correct, and the fish is the prey. The bear is eating the fish, so the fish is the prey and the bear is the predator. Now I've got a little bit of a game here where you have to guess which one is the predator or which one is the prey, or maybe you know. In the picture we have a hawk and a mouse, so the timer is starting. Which one is the predator and which one is the prey? Okay, time's up, let's see. Ooh. Ah, okay, so the hawk hunted the mouse. So the hawk is the predator and the mouse is the prey. Let's look at another one. Predator or prey? Cheetah and ostrich, the timer is starting. The ostrich is quite big, isn't, isn't she? Okay, let's find out. Predator or prey? Whoa. Okay, the cheetah is hunting the ostrich. So the cheetah in that case was the predator and the ostrich was the prey. If you would like to see a video of that, of a cheetah hunting an ostrich, actually three cheetahs hunting an ostrich, I am going to include a link to that video. It's very cool, very fun, down underneath this video. So if you want to see a cheetah hunting an ostrich, you can click that link. The last one here, predator or prey, we have a big bullfrog and the mouse again. What do we think? Let's start the timer. Okay, let's find out. Does the mouse eat the bullfrog or the bullfrog eat the mouse? Whoa, okay, the bullfrog is chasing down the mouse. So we know the bullfrog is the predator and the mouse is the prey. The 
another word from our focus words box was basking. Now we've got a couple little videos here. Now, basking is something all animals can do. Humans can do it too. We do bask in the sunlight. We just kind of lay there and get comfy and relaxed in the sun. The cat on the right is doing, uh, is doing just that. The cat is lying and relaxing in the sun. But the lizard on the left, the reptiles, they need to bask in order to survive because they do not have hot b pumping blood like we do. They need to go and sit in the sun. They are kind of solar powered in a way. And you can see also that he's holding his mouth open to, so that the sun has a stronger effect. So he's basking in the sun because he needs to warm up. He needs to keep his body warm because he's a reptile and reptiles are cold blooded. Another word we had was protection. Now let's look at this video a little bit. Let's see what happens here. Oh, whoa. Okay, what is that? That's a turtle, right? That's a turtle. And what is the turtle doing? He's hiding in his shell. Why would he do that? Well, shells are very hard and turtles are very soft. So we keep the turtle will retreat into his shell if he feels like he's in danger because a, a predator is really going to struggle to get through that shell to eat the turtle. So he will retreat into his shell. So here we have three different animals with three different types of protection. Um, on the left, we have some meerkats. What are they doing for protection, do you think? Yeah, that's right. They're, they're in a little group, aren't they? They're huddling up, and together in a group like that, they are much safer than they would be if they were alone when they're very vulnerable to hawks and things like that that want to eat them. What about in the middle? The walrus. What does the walrus have for protection? Yeah, he has those big teeth, doesn't he? But we don't call them teeth, we call them tusks. He doesn't actually use them for hunting. He just eats clams and small uh, shell animals. But he does the, use the tusks to defend himself from predators, uh, such as polar bears, or even to uh, protect himself from other walruses. And on the right, we have a snail. What does the snail have for protection? Yeah, it has that shell again, doesn't it? And the snail can go into the shell to protect itself from the weather or maybe a bird or something like that that's trying to eat it. So yeah, those are three different types of protection. Okay, so a quick review of the vocabulary we learned today. The focus words, we had five. Can anyone remember the first one? Okay, good job if you said venom. The second one, the bear in the picture. There was the bear and the fish, and the bear was the predator. And the fish was the prey. What about this turtle? What is the turtle using the shell for? Protection. And the last one, the reptile laying in the sun is basking. Okay, good job if you got um, those correct. The next thing you need to do today for this class is to go onto Teams and do your vocabulary assignment. It will just be five, five questions. And after you've done that, if you would like to, there will be some uh, cool videos underneath this video showing different predator and prey relationships. So I will put links to those below. Okay, guys, have a great day.